inside there is a stick shift this is the brake and the clutch is down at the bottom on the floor so on the floor you see there are three pedals to the far right is your gas pedal in the middle is the brake and on the far left is the clutch now you use the clutch in conjunction with the stick shift which is here and you can see there's numbers on the top that tells you what gear is what and then here you have your brake so when you want to put your car in park you can use your brake to make sure it doesn't roll back or forth okay all right, let's go for a ride. So now that we're in the vehicle, the first thing we're gonna check is make sure that our clutch or the stick shift is in neutral. So you can move it back and forth because that's that middle line there. There's no, it's not in a gear. So you move it back and forth, you can tell that it is in neutral, all right? Now we're gonna apply our foot to the brake. So therefore the car will not roll. And we're gonna put our foot on the clutch. We're gonna hold the clutch down and we're gonna start the car. And we're going to take the brake, this parking brake off. All right. So this is the part that's a little tedious and takes people the longest to do. But you have to use the clutch, which is my left leg, in conjunction with the stick, which is here. All right. So we're going to first put it into first gear, which is number one, which is far left and up. And the diagram on the stick will tell you that. Okay, so far left and up. Now we're gonna take our foot off the brake and we're gonna apply it to the gas, but as we apply it to the gas, we have to slowly take our foot off the clutch. So if you can see my hands here, this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna push the, the gas, we're gonna push our, the gas and take our foot off the clutch. Okay, it's, a, it's an even exchange. So we're in first gear, we push the gas, you'll hear the car rev, okay? And while the car is revving, you slowly take your foot off the clutch and the car will begin to move. All right. Now, when you get to a certain speed where you need to switch gears, that's when you will push the clutch while you're driving, pull back, straight back, and then you'll be in second. And then you push the gas. And then you'll get to your next speed and then you need to transition again to the third gear, push the clutch, push your gear up from the middle into three and push the gas. Okay. okay, so we've been driving forward. So now we're gonna go into reverse. Look at the diagram here and you'll see that there is an R all the way to the right and down. So to the right and down is the R for reverse. So we're gonna hold down the clutch. We're gonna push the, the, the shifter over to the right and back one. Now we're in reverse as the diagram showed us. All right, so now I'm gonna put my foot on the gas and slowly take my foot off of the clutch. So we'll hear it rev and I'll release my foot on the clutch. And now we're going backward. Okay, now we're gonna go forward. So now we're gonna go from reverse to first. So we're gonna go up to the middle and over and up to one. So up, over, and up to one as the diagram showed us. So now we're gonna put our foot on the gas, ease it off the clutch, and we'll start to move forward. All right.
an hour, second gear up to 20 miles an hour, third gear up to 30 miles an hour, and so forth and so on. Um, but once you become more comfortable, then you will be able to hear when the gear needs to be changed or when it, sh when it needs to be shifted to a new gear. And you'll be able to feel it. This is why I really like stick shifts is because I feel that you can become one with the vehicle versus an automatic. All right, let's get back to it. Stick shifts aren't like that. If you have a foreign, like a German car with a stick shift, the reverse is in the opposite direction. So just know your vehicle. All right, guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. 